By now you might have already heard something about social internet of things. But what does social IoT mean? That actually sounds interesting. Let's figure it out. But first let's start with definition of the internet of things. In the broadest sense, the term IoT encompasses everything connected to the internet. More precisely, it describes the network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. It's about networks, it's about devices, and it's about data. That includes an extraordinary number of objects of all shapes and sizes, from smart microwaves, which automatically cook your food for the right length of time, to self-driving cars, whose complex sensors detect objects in their path, to wearable fitness devices that measure your heart rate and the number of steps you've taken that day, then use that information to suggest exercise plans tailored to you. There are even connected footballs that can track how far and fast they are thrown and record those statistics via an app for future training purposes. Now we are ready to get back to the social internet of things concept. Social IoT is a paradigm of social network of intelligent objects based on the notion of social relationships among objects. The objectives being pursued by the social internet of things paradigm are clear, to keep separate the two levels of people and things, to allow objects to have their own social networks, to allow humans to impose rules to protect their privacy and only access the result of autonomous inter-object interactions occurring on the object's social network. Relationships in a social IoT system can be classified into two types user object relationship where there exists some form of association between the user and physical object and object object relationship where the physical objects are bound to each other through some relation in social iot application the type of relationships plays a very crucial role ownership object relationship the relationships among objects belong to the same person for example, laptops, mobile phones, smart watches, game consoles, held by an owner. Parental object relationship is the relationships among objects belonging to the same production batch. For instance, high-end virtual reality devices are manufactured by the same producer, period etc. Collocation object relationship is the relationships among objects used always in the same place. For example, sensors, actuators, augmented objects, smart devices used in the same environment such as a smart home or a smart city. Social object relationship is the relationships among objects come into contact, sporadically or continuously, because their owners come in touch with each other during their lives. For example, devices belonging to friends, classmates, travel companions. Sibling object relationship is the relationships among objects that belong to a family member. For example, laptops, mobile phones, smart watches, game consoles, etc. owned by and family. Guest object relationship is the relationships among objects owned by the users in the guest role. For instance, when a person spends at friend's place and takes the liberty as a guest. Stranger object relationship is the, the relationships among objects that encounter the existence of each other in the public surroundings or on the go. For example, a chance encounter in public transport. Service object relationship is the relationships among objects that fulfill the service request by coordinating the same service composition. Transactional object relationship is the relationships among objects starts when two or more resources interact. For instance, devices of two people who had a chat, game, etc. Co-work object relationship is the, the relationships among objects that work together to provide service for a common IoT application. For example, smartwatches that come in touch to be used together and cooperate for applications. Moving on to the next section, let's take a look at challenges in the social internet of things. Social IoT has its own long list of challenges from the perspectives of architectural design, services, management, interoperability, implementation, maintenance, scalability, navigability, application development, privacy, interaction and so on. 
Though social IoT is at its infancy, yet its constituents are now well matured and various efforts in presenting the solutions from conventional and non-conventional solutions are seen in literature in support of offering the best out of those technologies. Apart from their enhancements, intelligent techniques, such as swarm intelligence, neural networks, artificial intelligence, fuzzy logic, and genetic algorithms, deep learning, machine learning, can also be incorporated in designing the smart solutions. Whatsoever the model, design, architecture, solution would be, but it is appreciable that it intends to transcend today's available technologies and in so doing can identify technology gaps based on varied requirements.